Okay, now that we've already made some outcomes, we're going to build a rubric. Um, I'm doing this video assuming that you just watched the last one about how to make outcomes in Canvas. So now I'm going to jump over to Assignments, or I could go to Modules, uh, whichever way works best to find the assignment you're looking for. I know that I placed this assignment in Week 2, and the assignment is called uh, assignment 2 part 1 visual homepage. So I will click on that assignment. If you're making a brand new assignment and you're currently editing it, I want to make sure you're aware that the add rubric button is only found um, after you've saved the assignment. So if you're in the edit mode of the assignment like this where you've written your directions and put everything in, you will not see a button for the rubric until you click save at the bottom. So I clicked save and now I can click the add rubric button and this will open up a new rubric for me to make. If I've made rubrics in the past I can click find a rubric um, and then look for it that way but I'm gonna go in here and title this rubric create visual homepage. Now down here is where I can enter freehand to the criterion but I want to point out that if you put them in here, you will not see these criteria appear in your mastery-based gradebook. You have to add outcomes. So we're going to X out that first one there. And I'm just going to say find outcome. And if you remember, I put it into a folder called creating content in Canvas. So the first one will be create a content page. And I simply click import. And it will ask, are you sure? Yes. And there it is, it's worth two points. I can continue doing this until I've added all of the outcomes from my outcomes collection that will make up the assignment. So here I've got like linking content within the page <clears throat> and inserting images and creating a content page. Let's see, find outcome one more time, set page to be the home page. And you'll notice that all of my points are up to be eight. So I'm gonna just freehand add another one. I'm gonna add a criterion called turned in on time. And for this one, it's similar to the outcomes we were looking at before. If you turn it in on time, you'll get two points. And then I'll put one here in the middle. Call this one um, <clears throat> late within one week. We'll get you one point. So now it's a nice total point score of 10. Um, and that's uh, my, my rubric. The orange tags mean that they are aligned with outcomes, and so those will populate the gradebook. And the one that does not have an orange tab, you'll notice right there, is just a criterion for this one rubric. Then it says, I'll write freeform comments when assessing students. I can check that. This button's most important. Use this rubric for assignment grading. And then when I click Create Rubric, it will ask me, do I want to change it? Because it says, leaving the assignment total of five and the rubric's point of 10 will result in a maximum possible score of 200%. So I'm gonna say change. And now the rubric is worth 10 points and so is the assignment. So that's a nice little feature there. And I've just created a rubric for this assignment and when students log in to look at this, they will see it all listed. They'll also see the same rubric if I set up peer review, which I think I did for this assignment. So that is how I made my rubric using outcomes. I'm going to stop this video here, and in the third video we'll talk about how to grade using SpeedGrader and the rubrics we just made.